如果我们要永远是快乐、永不受苦，那么我们就应该对 Krishna 呢有奉献的情感，也就是呢 Bhakti。那么我们应该聆听 Krishna 的荣耀，也享受他的、啊、荣耀，以及呢他甜美的骄傲时光。这就是呢 Bhakti Yo 奉爱瑜伽。那么现在所进行的一切的话呢，都与这些东西无关的，因为瑜伽呢应该是两样东西的，就是一加一等二，或者说四加五啊等于九，类似这样的加法。那么呢，意识呢是超然的，而我们个体灵敏也是超然的。那么这一种呢，两者两个超然东西的连接，那这就称为呢，就奉爱瑜伽。Those who have faith in hearing Hari Katha or Bhakti Yog, they should serve high class of devotees. Those who have realized supreme law, those who are always chanting Krishna's name with tear in his eyes. And we should be, they should be in Tirtha, Tirtha means in Vrindavan, Sri Naudip Dham, or Nilachal Dham. There always so many sadhus are there practicing Bhakti Yoga. By this, oh, they must will be, their soul will be must have. Then must pray to a Bhagavad Gita. Oh, read this slow. <laughs> 那么在这个世界上，我们是很幸运的，可以聆听和享受呢。Krishna 他讲了关于 Krishna 的利益。那么在这个，我们应该去服务呢，对 Krishna 有品味的这些高阶的奉献者，并且呢去聆听和唱诵圣，因为他们呢对聆。他们总是唱诵圣名啊，对 Krishna 有内在的觉悟。那么在文达人和在呢拉布的话呢，有很多这类型的圣人。那么只有服务他们的话呢，我们才得以呢哈有真正的快乐。So, Shula Gurudev has been explaining to us this subject matter of pure bhakti yoga. How our soul can unite with the supreme soul, Sri Krishna. One mic broken. Should be fixed. <coughs> so the, the process of yoga, Shri Gurudev explained that in this world, people that are practicing so-called yoga is mainly just physical exercises. <laughs> 实际上哈，现今世世界呢，他们所修习的瑜伽的话呢，哈，都是呢身体的活动。那么这是呢，徐德库瑞呢指出来的。It is not actually 
yoga because the very word yoga means to unite together. But Shri Gurudev said, one plus one equals two. So what yoga actually refers to is the linking together, the uniting together of our soul, uh, which Srila Gurudev is saying is transcendental, and linking together with the Supreme Soul, Sri Krishna, who is the Supreme Transcendental. So the process of bhakti yoga is the process by which our soul will be united eternally with the Supreme Soul in transcendental bhakti, which means pure love and devotion. Now, in our present condition, we, we have so many impediments, so many obstacles, which are preventing our soul from connecting with the Supreme Being. Just like, for example, if you have a magnet, and the magnet is automatically going to be attracted to a piece of metal, but if you put something to obstruct the magnetic force in between, like a brick, oh, then it will not become attracted. So in the same way, there are so many things that are called anarthas. These are unwanted things within our heart pre preventing us from being able to be spontaneously attracted to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. But Srimad Bhagavatam, which Srila Gurudev is explaining to us, has given a process of hearing constantly the glories of Sri Krishna from the lips of pure realized souls, and by this process, all these obstacles that are within our heart can become removed. So in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, this process is explained in the verses which Srila Gurudev is now quoting. Nashtaprayeshu apatreshu nitram bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama shloke bhaktir bhavati naishtiki. So here it is telling that Nashtaprayeshu uh, apatreshu the process by which all of these unwanted things, material desires and so forth, can be removed is by doing Bhagavat Seva, service to Bhagavat. There are two types of Bhagavat. One Bhagavat is what we are hearing, this glorious scripture called Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? The second type of Bhagavat is called the person Bhagavat or Bhakta Bhagavat. Uh, that is the pure devotee of Krishna who is completely surrendered to Krishna and has developed pure love and devotion to him. We are very fortunate to be in the presence of such a pure uh, Bhagavat, Bhakta Bhagavat, our beloved Srila Gurudev. So Srila Bhagavatam is telling by hearing from the lips of the pure devotee, by serving the pure devotee, 
then the, the things that are, have accumulated within our heart over many, many lifetimes, they gradually become removed. And then the result comes, Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. Now, uh, what is called fixed Bhakti, Bhakti that cannot be wavering at any time, it becomes completely fixed in one's heart. So Srimad Bhagavatam explains, Shrinvatam Sapata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Vidyantak Sto Hipadrani Vidunauti Suhritsatam. By hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, then that Krishna Katha is Krishna himself, and he comes within our own heart and he cleanses the heart of the devotee. Then, Padarajasthamo Bhava Kama Lobha Dayasthaye Chaita Ekaya Navidham Stitam Satve Prasidati. In this material world, all conditioned souls, they are covered. Their consciousness is covered over by different degrees of covering of the modes of material nature. Passion and ignorance. Uh, when one is covered by the modes of passion and ignorance, then so much material lust, anger, greed, illusion, envy, it stays within one's heart, and one cannot realize transcendental truth. But by this process of hearing Krishna Kata, then the lower modes of passion and ignorance, the effect, no longer comes into one's consciousness, and one gradually rises to the mode of goodness, and in that mode of goodness, now he becomes situated in Sattva Gun, and he becomes very happy. This is like Srila Gurudev said uh, in the very beginning of his lecture tonight, that he, the whole process to become happy is only by hearing Krishna Kata. So when this hearing of Harikata progresses more and more, uh, then Vidyate Hridaya Granthis, Chidyante Sarva Shamsaya, Chiyante Sasya Karamani, Vrishta Evad Manishvare. Then the, there is a knot within one's heart uh, which is binding one to this material world, binding us to identify ourselves with these material bodies. And that knot keeps us in this material world, lifetime after lifetime, thinking I am this body and everything connected with this body belongs to me. This false illusion of material identity within this world uh, it is the diseased condition of our soul. So now when this powerful transcendental knowledge enters within the heart, then the knot of material existence becomes pierced and we become freed from these material conceptions. All doubts, they become cleared within the heart and one comes into transcendental existence. And the chain of material existence of repeated birth and death, which is caused by our karma lifetime after lifetime, 
Now it becomes terminated. 那么这个生死之恋哈，让我们的累世哈欲望，对然后就生成起来。那么，只有呢从高阶的布线者呢去聆听哈利卡卡，那么我们会有一种呢，到了马克西的情感，也就是皈依的情感，我们会觉得哦，皈依呢会救我的，我会对，我会做呢，对我的父爱有利的东西，我再会避开呢那些呢不利于我父爱的东西，因为对皈依呢和侮辱这种皈依的情感，那么呢，就是说我们就能得到呢，逐渐的哈得到发展了其他的阶段，从十二的开始。然后到发现克利亚，然后呢就是执行贡献服务哈，还有到呃呃阿纳特尼维奇，就是铲除各种恶习啊，然后到吉斯坦、拉皮、呃到巴等等哈这些情感。那么对克什，如果呢没有呢侮辱和克什的仁慈的话呢，我们就不可能获得高阶的联谊的，因为克什的仁慈是因为呢侮辱的祈祷，当侮辱祈祷的时候，你就能得到克什的恩典。In this world, there are very rare groups. How we can be recognized that he is so guru, a qualified guru? Very hard. But our Vedas, Puran, and especially the Mahabharat. I told the symptoms of a pure guru. What is the symptom of a pure guru? Shivan, what is the sign? Madhav Maharaj. <音>那么刚才呢，其实各位提到哈，在这个世界上呢，我们是很难得到纯粹的侮辱，也就是纯粹的奉献者哈，作为一个侮辱的。那么在《雷达经》在《布拉纳经》哈，在呃《须摩巴陀堂圣贤菩萨瓦堂》呢，提到了这些呢哈，纯粹的侮辱的他们的身道。<音><音>那我们首先要说的是，确实是。所以，我们应该知道这些例子是什么。怎么我们可以辨别出这些例子？那首先，我向我亲爱的林信老师哈，莲花族的会员的请拜。那么，学的贵队呢，叫我呢讲述然后纯粹的侮辱他的征兆啊，在经典里面提到的。The scriptures tell us there are three main symptoms by which we can tell the pure devotee, the bona fide guru. He has no material attachments or desires. No interest whatsoever in anything of this material world. 那么对于这个世界哈，这尘世间的东西的话呢哈，没有兴趣。Nothing can attract him in in this world. 这个世界的没有任何东西可以吸引得了他。Not even in his mind does anything ever attract attract him. 那么甚至他心意里面哈都没有这种东西的哈，这个吸引力的存在的这东西。And he is completely, absolutely familiar with shastra, with the revealed scriptures. 那么这样呢是呢。And he can explain them in such a completely thorough way that anyone who has any question or any doubt, he can remove it completely. They will understand. He can in a completely thorough way explain them in such a completely thorough way that anyone who has any question or any doubt, he can remove it completely. They will understand. He can in a completely thorough way explain them in such a completely thorough way that anyone who has any question or any doubt, he can remove it completely. 
easier to see, isn't it? 那么的话呢，就刚才提到这两个哈征兆的话呢，属于外在的征兆。那么尽管的话，就是说也是很常有的拥有这两项征兆，但是呢，这是可以辨识、可以看出来的。We can see relatively easily if someone has material desires or attachments. 我们可以呢哈，就是说比较容易的看出一个人哈是否呢有一些哈物质的欲望或者心依附。If someone does or does not know shastra, it becomes evident quite quickly. They cannot satisfy. They cannot answer our questions. 连还有呢，就是一个人如果呢哈不精通经典的话呢哈，他不能够呢令我们满意哈，就是不能够呢让我们哈满足疑惑的。But the third symptom of bona fide guru is very difficult to perceive. 但是呢，第三个哈，一个真正的灵性老师，第三个征兆呢是非常难以哈察觉的。That is that he has fully realized his relationship, his service with the supreme lord, Sri Krishna. 那就是呢，他与主 Krishna 哈，所以 Krishna 的话呢，哈，完全觉悟到跟他的关系以及对他的服务。He is fully aware of his eternal identity and relationship and service to the Supreme Lord Shri Shri Radha Govinda. 那么他也呢，哈，完全呢，啊，自觉的话呢，自己呢，对于 Shri Radha Govinda 哈这个服务。And with that loving mood and service to the divine couple that is always flowing in his heart, by the association of such a guru. It may be reflected into our heart. 那么，只有这样的一个呃，孤独的哈，这个联谊的话呢，那么他内心的情感会投射到哈他的弟子或门徒心中。But who can perceive this? 那么，谁能够呢哈察觉到这种情感呢？孤独呢？哦，这是非常困难的。You try to go see, like myself, you cannot perceive. 那么，对于一个初阶奉献者哈，嗯，像我这样子的哈，那么我怎能够知道呢 ？More advanced persons that are We are being removed from the influence of the three modes of material nature, then they will be able to. As they come into that, into their service, into their association, hearing Hari Kata from them. 如果呢哈，修为高一点的人的话呢哈，如果他能够在这种纯粹奉献者的哈听从他那处听听，或者是呢服务他的话呢，他能够感受到他内心这种情感。These three are the symptoms of the bona fide guru. 所以呢，刚才讲到三点的话呢，是一个哈、哦、真实无为的灵性导师，他要征兆。And scripture says that we should test to see whether we see these symptoms. 那么经典也提到了哈，一个弟子的话呢，要去哈呃呃去呢哈考验哈这一位这个导师哈，看看有没有这三种。So to the best of our ability, we we will look. 那么也是尽我们能力哈，我们去呢哈查出这点。Still. Only by that bona fide guru's causeless mercy can anything be revealed to us. We can even recognize any of these three characteristics in him at all. 那么其实也是只有哈这样的位置，呃，灵性老师的哈，他的恩典的话呢，这些东西才能够向我们内心揭示的。因为实际上我们可能没有能力甚至认出哈这三样品质里面其中一点。I just like to add one thing that Sri Gurudev has told. You can find it in one very excellent book of his. We hope to have translated to Chinese soon. A pinnacle of devotion. 那么我想添加一点哈，就说呢，呃，虽然顾队呢哈在呃《奉爱之间》哈这本书，这本书呢哈，我希望很快能够翻译成中文哈。这里面呢提到一些东西。That when the devotee is praying for his heart, that Krishna will send him help. 当一个奉献者在他内心祈祷的时候呢 ，Krishna 会呢好帮忙的。He wants to serve Krishna, but he realizes he cannot. He needs help. 那么他想服务 Krishna， 但是觉得哈自己做不到，所以他得到想得到帮助。Like that from the heart of his ear, then Krishna sends one of our spiritual master. 当他内心哈流泪啊去祈祷的时候，那么 Krishna 就把呢哈真正的灵性导师呢哈派过来了。We are very fortunate to have come into such association. 所以呢，我们很幸运来到呢这种呢哈联谊之中。I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Now, we see that who is essential without Guru Bhakti cannot be. If we see Krishna brings supreme personality of Godhead, he has also Guru. Sri Ramchandra, he has also Guru Prasista. 
किरण श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु है गुरु ईश्वरपुरी भाई दया जगत गुरु बस इन टू टीच अदर जनरल अवसन विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ गुरु विदाउट द सर्विस ऑफ गुरु यू कैनट है एंड विदाउट भक्ति यू कैनट बी है तो ऋषि इन श्रीमद भागवतम दैटेव ई नारायण सत्यावेश ऑफ नारायण डिवाइडेड डेटा इन फोर फॉर एंड इफेक्ट बुक की एक्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑल द वेज ऑल एंड मे ब्रह्म सूत्र वन बुक इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड टू मेक प्लान ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दूत्र सिमेट महाभारत और ऑल बट इवन इट वॉज वेरी हॉर्ड टू नो ब्रह्म सूत्र एंड इन फाइनली सी वॉज रिपेंटिंग दैट आई हैव डन सो मच बट आई एम नॉट हैपी माई सोल इज नॉट हैपी फर्स्ट टू गई डू I not happy. I don't know. In the meantime, Nar Devasi Nar Jain Deya, and what we can, yo, just so to speak.接受哺乳对我们的话，修行来说呢是最主要的。没有哺乳的帮助的话呢，是不可能有啊法体的。像世尊主高的话，吉什纳、主拉玛，那么他们都有哈哺乳。那拉玛的，那拉玛的哺乳的话呢，是吧？吉什努尼，拉玛哺乳的话呢，也接受了。伊斯拉鲁伊斯伊斯拉鲁利帕接作为呢哺乳。那么尽管他们都是呢宇宙哺乳，加个哺乳，但是为了教导众生，他们都接受了灵性老师。没有对咕噜的服务，或者说没有呢，咕噜的帮助的话呢，是不可能得到 Krishna b a k t i 的。而没有呢 b a k t i 的话呢，我们也得不到任何的帮助。那么圣眼佛教法坛的编撰者 b e y o n d Space， 那么他呢是哈主那样的这个门徒。那么他将伟大经的真伟呢四部分，并且将精华部分呢提炼为呢 Brahma s u t r a 但是 Brahma s u t r a 非常难以言明白，所以他呢哈将此的话呢。就编撰了哈《Purana》，经也编撰了《Ramana b a l a t a 但是因为呢，《Purana s u t r a 极为难以明白，所以呢，他尽管呢编撰了这些书的话呢，心中还是不高兴。在这个时候的话呢，他的灵性导师和拉拉达呢，就到了那里。ज्ञानंजना सुगतया सुखसूरुमेरितन्यनातस्मायिष्ठिगुरुदेव नमः मुकुंगरजुवाचलम् पंगुमलंगायतेगिरिम् यत्कृपातमहम् मन्देशिगुरुम् दिनतायि आफ्टर माय मोस्ट हंबल ओबेसेंसेस द लोटस फील ऑफ माय दिशे गुरु सुवान ग्रेस ओम विष्णु पाल शुचिमंत बक्ति वेदांति नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज अंतिल � Sister Gurus and Guardians, Nithila Pradishnam Vishnu Paj Vishimad Gwagavandu Swami Maharaj, Nithila Pradishnam Vishnu Paj Vishimad, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and to the Siddhani Sanyasikan, my Gurujan, disciples of Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, my God brothers and God sisters and all the guests here, my humble friend of our pranams to all of you. Krishna appears as Guru also in the heart of all living entities as Chaitya Guru, 
But is this guru that leads us to the bona fide spiritual master? And at this time, Shukra is explaining the Leela of how Mahamuni Veda Vyasadeva, who Sita Goswami and Srimad Bhagavatam has said that he is an incarnation Shaktivesh avatar of the Supreme Lord himself. He has taken the Vedas, divided into four, Guru has explained all this. But still, there was some despondency. He was still somewhat unhappy. And because Veda Vyasadeva is an empowered incarnation of the Lord Himself. Certainly, He knows all things. He is a self-realized soul. So when he was meditating on what was the cause, even though he had thought so very mercifully about the condition of all the living energies in this world, how to deliver them through explaining the Vedas, dividing the Vedas, writing Vedanta Sutra, Mahabharata, and all these literatures only to save the conditioned souls in this world. How merciful he is. But the age of Kali is approaching, and people in this age are very short-lived, they have very small intelligence. It's difficult for them to understand what Veda Vyasa had written in the Vedas. And also in the Vedas, there's so much description in the Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda sections about materialistic activity, how to gradually develop, and also about moksha, about liberation. So when a sincere disciple just prays within the core of his heart and cries for guidance from Krishna, then Krishna most mercifully appears outside and before him as the liberated devotee, the spiritual master. So while David Vyasa is contemplating all these things on the bank of the Holy River while meditating, he got some realization that he had not fully described the wonderful, beautiful pastimes of Sri Krishna in his previous literature. At that time, his spiritual master appeared before him, Shri Nard Muni. Nard Muni is directly the son of Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. And one of the first and most prominent disciples of Lord Brahma. And Brahma himself accepted Sri Krishna as his guru. So Narada Muni is also described as the disciples from their lotus feet of the instructions emanating from their lotus like mouths. Even a little contact with any one of these three substances can bring all benefit to the practitioner. So Narada did not, did not uh, spend years and years with the brahmachari and the ashram serving. It was just four months in the rainy season, and I think after that some time in the autumn season, maybe four, five, six months. And by taking their prasad and by hearing their harikata, because what happened? Sakam prasangam mamavirya samjido, mantihikarna rasayana kata, kajosana rasu pavargavarguni, 
In the association of devotees, we hear about the all potent activities, name, form, qualities, and pastimes of the Supreme Lord. Those descriptions are very, very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. So by hearing the Hari Kata from the sages, Nard is a young boy, he quickly progressed from Shraga, Sarusanga, Bhajanatriya, Anartanaviti, Nishta, Ruchi, Ashakti, and he eventually came, he will describe how he even came to the stage of Bhav. So the sages, they took their leave of his mother and him, and they went on their way to versing the globe, teaching. At that time, shortly after that, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Before they left, <laughs> important point, before the Bhakti Vedantas left, they also initiated, yeah, Satu San for Kumaras. So they gave him mantra, Kiksha mantra, and gave him some instructions on how to practice bhakti. Shortly after that, his mother died, was bitten by a snake. And in his family, it was only him, only one person. His mother was very attached to him. So when his mother left, he was feeling that there's nothing left in this world, and he left, even though he was a small boy, he also left his home and started to walk and travel and walk through cities, towns, villages, forests, everywhere, practicing what he had heard from these sages. By practicing bhakti in this way, having taken the association of the sadhus and practicing. Thank you. 
继续哈、啊、休息啊。如果有一天的话呢，你可以将这个脚哈、啊、靠在死神的头上，啊，你可以用你的冥想行哈，就是告诉呢传唱我的荣耀。那么之后的话呢，你将得到一个新的身体哈。Purve, Purchanda, Radhika, Tadare, Krishna, Krishna, Vakta, Tadavakta, Namahimana. So, first of all, I would like to say to Sri Guru Deva, Samyasi, Ramachari, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. 首先，我请到哈，随着 Guru Deva 哈，所有的呃 Samyasi, Ramachari 哈，以及在座的哈，男士女士奉献者。Guru Mantra, Sadguru Swayam, Yaguru Sasvayam Hari. The mantra given by the supreme, by the Guru Dev, by the spiritual master, is none different than the supreme Lord. So the supreme Lord appears in the form of mantra. Therefore, we only have to chant it purely without offence, with prema. Then we can see the istadev of the mantra. The syllables of the mantra reveal itself to us. No need so much speculation, guesswork, imagination. Mantra will reveal itself to us directly. So in the solitary place, by chanting that mantra for one second, Narad Muni had darshan of the Supreme Lord, Narayan. Like a flash of lightning. Spurity. A temporary manifestation in the heart. Then he disappeared. Then Nara became mad, weeping. Oh Lord, come back! Oh Lord, come back! He tried to chant, but his mind was reeling. I cannot see that Lord. Then voice came. Nara, you cannot see me again in this life. Then a voice came. Nara, you cannot see me again in this life. Because Not completely matured in bhakti. Therefore, the Lord gave him a momentary vision to increase his greed and eagerness. Just like when you take a mango, an unripe mango or avocado, and you put it in a hot place, it becomes ripe. Therefore, by feeling. By feelings of separation, our devotion will mature. Sometimes the Guru manifests to us, then he disappears. Why? To increase our greed. So now I spend the rest of his life in separation, chanting the glories of the Lord. So in due course of time, his bhakti became mature, and like a flash of lightning and illumination occurred simultaneously, Narad Muni gave up the mature body and immediately assumed the divine transcendental form. Many people tell us, "Oh, when you become perfect, you become a zero." After liberation, you become one with God. But no. Mukti, Api, Lilanam, Bigraham, Bhagavan, Bajante. Sri Sankaracharya has written: After liberation, the soul assumes a transcendental form and he serves Bhagavan. So we also have a seed of. We have a seed of perfection within us. That is our eternal form, our sarup. And guru, by the grace of the guru, that sarup is revealed to the disciple. 
，他说提着裤子恩典的话呢，哈，这个说路可能在灵性形象呢向门徒揭示。So not only achieved the mercy of his gurus and he achieved his surupsida, but、uh, surupsida. 那啊， surupsida. 那么那的话，提着他的灵性老师的恩典的话呢，他得到了哈，他他的说路可以。And that is the form that we see now of Nara, with his vina always chanting Shima Nara and Nara and Nara. 那么就是呢哈，呃，手拿着金盏旗的这个哈，唱诵呃 Shri Nara and Nara 的这个哈。And he's famous in the three worlds as the best of the Vaishnavas. 他在这三个世界呢，被称为呢最佳的 Vaishnava. He said yesterday he saw two two things he saw in his meditation. 李亚瑟这一幕呢，在他的冥想之中。Okay. Right. Okay. Then now, her, oh, sorry, then Vyasa had heard all this story of Nara. He had so much faith in his guru. 那么李亚瑟这一场听了那的哈前世的这个描述哈，他非常有信心，就是给布鲁。Therefore, Bhakti Yoga and Manasi Samyak Pranika Yamali Apasya Purusham Punam Maya Chhatta Pasyam Yajosam Hawato Jivam Atmanam Sujanatam Parote Manati Anatam Chakatam Sabitadite. Vyasa then saw two things. What did he see? Vyasa 这一场看到两样东西。First, Narmani blessed him, and Bhakti Yoga appeared within his heart. 首先是拿着木鱼，然后祝福他，然后呢 ，Bhakti 在他心中呢显现。Without becoming seductive with Bhakti, you cannot see the Lord or His pastimes. 如果呢哈，你对呢，你和 Bhakti one with Bhakti. 那么如果你不能够哈，与父爱呃合一的话呢，你不能见到哈真主。Therefore, he immersed his mind in Bhakti Samadhi. 因此的话呢，他沉醉自己的心思哈，进入了这个 Bhakti Samadhi 哈，这种三摩地的地。Samadhi does not mean to see the white light or to see Sai Baba or anything. Samadhi, you have the same intelligence as your Guru Dev and the Guru Parampara. The same vision comes to you. Therefore, Guru Dev, this is proof without the mercy of Guru, no one can have devotion. 因此的话呢，这也是一个证据哈，没有孤独的恩典的话呢，没有任何人可以拥有的哈，这个这个父爱。Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samad Panikit, Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samad Panikit Amala. His mind was completely purified. 那么这时候他心意呢哈，得到完全的纯化。Bhakti Puru Sam Puru Nam, he saw the supreme person. 他见到了至尊者。And Maya Chitaka Pasuram, and behind him in a shamed position. He saw the illusory potency Maya Devi. 那么在至尊者的旁边哈，那么呢 Maya Devi 哈，就是说呢，呃，物质能量的哈，女神的话呢，一啊就非常羞愧的哈，站在一边。Maya can never come before the Lord. She always stays behind. 阿雅不能够哈走在主的面前的哈，她总是呢哈在后面站着。He saw Purusham Purusha, Radha and Krishna, and his birth. All Lila Parikas, all three pastimes from birth to everything. He saw that Mother Jyotiba was bending to bring Lord Krishna. He saw in front that Krishna is taking the shoes of his father Nanda Baba. On his head, he took Govardhan on his head, on his third finger, and he saw Ras Lila with Gopis, and Krishna telling that I cannot repay you, Gopis. You have left your father, mother, wealth, your shame, and everything for me. I cannot do like. So, by your generosity, you can let me free from that. Free from that, but yet I will be always really fond. And after that, he saw Brahmagi, Gopi Ji, and other things. And after Dwarka Lila, Mahabharat Deso, and Krishna departing from this world, all things he saw. And then he wrote. And then he gone. Oh yes. 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 Oh yes.
不仅是见到了我们这家，见到了实际上是罗哈佩什纳，好，他的所有家人时光，包括连周德文还好，捆绑佩什纳，还有佩什纳的话，头顶色的，蓝的蓝的，哈哈，这个鞋，以及在用左手，以及墨子举起锅碗瓢盅，好，拉开力量，好，与牧人姑娘一起共活，等等这些家人时光。那么，虽然不再提到一个细节，就是 k r i s h n a 对不留姑娘好公平的说了：“我不能够偿还你们，啊，因为你们的话呢，为了我而放弃你们的父母，啊，你们的呃责任，你们的羞耻，你们的贞洁等等、啊。尽管你们有你们的慷慨，你们可以免我这份好情债，但是我永远哈、啊、是就是亏欠你们的。所以呢，在此之后呢，他呢写下了 Brahma Kiss 哈 o p Kiss 等等之后，呃，还呢讲到了哈，在库鲁之眼啊这些战争啊。”Therefore, we are sure these pastimes thousands and thousands of years before Krishna manifested. Because the pastimes of Krishna are eternal. They are not imaginary or speculation or mythology. 那么这种的教育方案哈，不是呢推敲的，不是想象的，也不是神话。But they can only be seen when one is beyond material nature. That is the fact. 但是呢，只有一个人哈，超越呢物质的哈这个呢呃存在的话呢，他才能够被看见，这是哈真真正的。Yoga samoyo jiva atmanam trigunatmanam. He saw the spirit soul is actually free from material nature. 他看到了哈，灵魂的话呢，实际上呢是免除一套三种，就是呃免于这三种的哈这个物质形态的。But because of illusion, he sees himself as part of this world, part of this body. But by accepting this, he can become free from Maya and again engage in the service of Krishna. So everything he saw in his samadhi, he compiled that is called the Srimad Bhagavatam. 所以呢，圣迪亚斯德的话呢，在呢哈，桑玛底在神定的状态下所看到的，那么他呢写下来就是圣典不教尔堂宣了巴格巴堂。那么宣了巴格堂是 four things。因此呢，圣典不教尔堂包括四种东西。阿土扬布拉玛苏扎南巴拉塔土维尼纳雅扎扎提巴斯鲁科索维达阿塔普里布里纳塔。It is the explanation of the Vedanta。那么首先是对维达塔哈这个阐述。It is the real essence of the Mahabharata。也是呢，马哈。But after 12 years, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished. Please come out." Twelve years later, Radha Desai said, "Hari Bol, time is finished." And the Asura said, "I promise you, Ma will not touch you." So the Asura said, "I don't believe you. I only believe Krishna Himself." So Krishna came there. Oh, come out! He took away his Maya, and that second Sukadev Goswami appeared in this world. Sixteen-year-old youth. 那么呢，当时哈，一转呢就显现在那地方哈。他说：“你出来吧哈。”然后呢，把玛雅离离开哈。他在那时候呢显现，然后呢一出来呢是十六岁哈，一少年。The Gamba completely naked。完全裸露的哈，一个啊年轻哈这个少年。And immediately he began walking away。然后呢，立即哈他就离家出走。His father was chasing, putretti, putretti, my son, come back, my son, come back. 他的啊父亲呢，比亚萨呢追在他背后哈，说了，我的儿啊哈，我的儿，回来吧，回来吧。Why? The answer is not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a qualified disciple. Actually, we are talking about not ordinary person like us crying for a child. No, I want to give you this human bhagavatam. This is a When I saw Sukadev Goswami's 16-year-old blackish complexion, like Krishna, very beautiful, but they saw, oh, he is not interested in man or woman. There is no difference for him. Therefore, they also felt no shyness. 那么当时有一群一群年轻的哈少女呢，在那个池塘里面哈，就是沐浴啊。当时苏格德哥双女哈裸身走过来，啊，她的肤色呢是黑色的，啊，也是类似 Krishna， 非常英俊的一个少年。
那是因为他们没有男女哈这种观念的，所以他没有男女这种概念，所以这些少女见到他们哈也没有羞耻感。If we see difference between man and woman, we cannot realize the past times of Krishna. That is the fact. 只要我们如果能看出有男女之亲的话呢，那就不会呢哈，能够呢觉悟到哈 Krishna 的这些哈。And Vyasadeva came running behind the ladies, covered themselves. Vyasadeva was amazed. I am like your grandfather's grandfather, and so old, and he is 16 year old, no clothes. You do not feel shy. Why? They said, Maharaj, don't mind. But your son never sees this world, but you see it. All right, how do you know we are ladies? Therefore, you see this world, but your son does not see this. 那么当时两小姐从哈追过去了，但是那些少女哈就把马上把衣服哈就是盖上。那当时两小姐就说了哈，我已经老的足做足以做你们的主妇了哈，你们呢却呢哈要盖上衣服。而我的儿子哈十六岁大，那么年轻哈，那么有记忆，你们却呢哈没有羞耻感，那是为什么？他们两小姐 spoke to Shuman Bhagavatam to Shukadev Goswami. 那是因为你哈，你你你这你的眼睛哈看到这个世界。And the great sage Shukadev Goswami spoke that same Bhagavatam to Parikshit Maharaj in the assembly of Namisaranya. In Namisaranya, this assembly in this place, Shukadev Goswami, like that. Oh, there at um Shuktal in Uttar Pradesh, north of Delhi. 啊，现在乌托邦市哈，这个呢，北方邦哈，就是在这个地点的话呢，呃，这个国商女哈，像普利斯达军呢，是吧？长寿哈，这本呢，不叫啥。In seven days, Sukadev goes Parikshit Maharaj achieved complete perfection just by hearing Bhagavatam. 所以七天七夜。嗯，七天七夜的时间的话呢，普利斯达军哈，聆听了这部国家法，并且达到了他的完美。If he could achieve the body of a gopi in seven days, imagine what we can achieve in six days. <laughs> We never hear six days. But we are not hearing like Parikshit Maharaj is hearing. We are hearing that mind is thinking what I'm going to have for prasad, what I'm going to do tomorrow. But Parikshit Maharaj is hearing with complete absorption the word of Sri Sukadev Goswami. Therefore, in seven days he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was able to hear the Sukadev Goswami's words. So, seven days later, he achieved perfection. Then, I'm very happy that Shunan Patmana Maharaj, Shunan Vaishnava Pat, Maharaj, and after him, Radha Kanta Prabhu, they delivered a beautiful and powerful classes. If you have heard, you can realize. I'm very happy that. How beautiful and marvelous they have spoken. Today our class is finished. Those Pranal and they have some announcements for the devotees. Translation. A couple of very great and important announcements. Um, tomorrow morning at 7.30, Sri Pant Bhattan Maharaj will give class here.